Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Mio iConnectivity USB to MIDI adapter kit to my TD10 drum set, which is an older version of the Roland drums. I got my Roland controller right down here. And here's what you're going to need if you want to. I'm going to actually record in the uh, GarageBand on my iPod, which is an iPod original, the first one. So here's what you get in the package. You get the uh, the two MIDI connectors and the MIDI looks like a little smiley face. I'm not sure if you can see that. Anyway, this is a MIDI in. I was hooking them up MIDI in to in and MIDI out to out, but that's actually not correct. and It wasn't working, so this white one is a MIDI in. It gets connected to the MIDI out, so let's do that right now. This is the MIDI out connector on the top of my Roland drums. And the black one says MIDI out gets connected to the MIDI in. Otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, that's hooked up. Roland's on. The next thing you're going to need if you want to connect it to your uh, iPod is one of those camera adapters. So USB to camera adapter. And they say to turn on GarageBand first, but I don't think it makes a difference. So I got the Live Rock uh, drum set on there. So once I plug in, it's not going to show you anything, but let me, let me hold on a second, try to do this with one hand. Okay, it's plugged in. Alright, so we got our MIDI in and out, directly plugged in to the iPad. Now you got to plug in your headset, or your speakers, whatever you use. Sorry, get it all wrapped up all over the place here. Connect it in, not into your module, but into the um, iPad itself. So, hold on a second. Apologize for the video. All right. So now, I'm gonna drop everything here. This is a bad video. <laughs> anyway, if you look right here on the top of the garage bin, I'm hitting the snare. And you can see it's actually uh, record, you know, it's got a equalizer kind of going up. And you got the, the rack tom up here. And you got another one up here. And then for some reason it's skipping my third one and it's going to my fourth. I can always swap connectors. And it's got the one crash symbol up on top. And it's got the ride symbol. Alright, so now you can just... Um, if you wanted to, you can actually just hit record, and it'll actually record the track. And then uh, I recorded something earlier, but if you press this button up here, it'll switch over to the actual track, and then you'll see it recorded right across. So for a while, I was been trying to figure out how to do this, and uh, finally, my son bought me the uh, the Mio. USB to MIDI adapter. I don't know if you need to get that one. You can get whatever one you want, but this one seemed to work pretty good. But the uh, biggest thing I found was the in and out are swapped. And that's the way the manual, that the online manual tells you to hook it up. So I so hope this is uh, informative and uh, enjoy. Start recording and you can probably play with uh, other people and send them tracks and it's uh, kind of a lot of fun. And actually the drums, uh, the classic drum set sounds pretty darn good. And I kind of like it. So, enjoy. Take care.